Hello class, a very pleasant morning to all of you. Dear students, today I Parekh, am here to further provide a revision lecture for unit number 4 that is nouns. My dear students, you must have gone through this chapter for your unit test. So today let us quickly revise what is noun. Nouns are the name of the people, thing, substances, places, ideas and feelings. So whatever thing which possess a name is considered as noun. The example here is given Ritesh, computer, salt, park, friendship, victory, etc. Nouns are further bifurcated into two types. The first one is proper noun and common noun. The division of common noun is divided into two parts that is countable nouns and uncountable nouns. And both countable and uncountable nouns are divided into further two types that is concrete noun and abstract nouns. So let's revise each of them in detail. What is proper noun? Proper nouns are the name of specific person, places or institutions. They can also be the names of weeks, months, festivals, days, etc. Proper noun always begins with the capital letter. They do not take article before them and they do not have a they do not have plurals. So here in proper noun the uh, first letter will always be capital and there will be no article that means a n and the won't be included in the proper noun and they all they do not have plural that means they are always in the singular form what is common noun common noun is the common name of all the things in a class that means the things the name which we use in common is considered as common noun monkey the name of all the monkeys fan the name of all fans so here we can use the word which is common for all the types of nouns which bifurcated which deeply explains us about the entire class the very next one is countable and uncountable nouns countable nouns are those which have singular and plural forms they can be preceded by number or quantity words. So here, countable nouns means something which have both the singular and the plural forms. They can be counted by the numbers or by the quantity of words. So here, the examples are given. Bottles is the singular countable noun, whereas bottles is the plural countable noun, which can be expressed with the number words. That means there are six bottles and with, which can be expressed with the quality quantity or counting words that means there are many bottles so the things which we can count which have a plural form is considered as countable nouns and what are uncountable nouns uncountable nouns do not have a plural form and cannot be used with the number words the things which does not possesses plural is considered as uncountable and hence we cannot write the number words before the same so the examples are given uncountable noun the first example is music so we cannot make the plural of music hence it is uncountable the very next topic is concrete noun and abstract nouns concrete nouns are the names of the physical phenomenon which can be observed with the senses that means we can observe the all the phenomena with our senses that they are the physical phenomenon that means which can be physically seen or touched and abstract noun. Abstract nouns are the names of the phenomena that are not physical, but we can only think about it and not observe with our senses. That means those uh, phenomena which are not physical, but we can only feel those things with our senses and we can only think about is considered as abstract nouns. The uh, examples given here are happiness, size, friendship, childhood, imagination, etc. Abstract nouns can also be both countable or uncountable. So dear students, here we are at the end of this video. In the very next class, we will continue with the revision of the further chapters. Till then, study hard and study well. Thank you.